So my thing is, and we've covered this technology before. I actually, when I saw this, I decided to pull the trigger and I've actually ordered an extra, I actually ordered a new Raspberry Pi. Um, I did some tests with this and it was pretty darn cool, but I wanted to use the Raspberry Pi for something else. Um, so I actually ordered a new Raspberry Pi to replace my emulation system. And then I'm gonna use the old Raspberry Pi for this, but it's called Hoobs. Hoobs. I, I don't think Hoobs actually stands for anything. It's H-O-O-B-S. Came out with version four. And what Hoobs is for, if you have a bunch of non-home kit compatible devices, there's a bunch of cool people out there that are obviously writing code for free, as well as many other um, companies writing to this platform. And they're making it so you can integrate with um, HomeKit and make everything just work magically together. This is super nice if you got into the um, home automation tech early or you know, there are certain companies, <coughs> Google, um, that are never going to necessarily make their stuff 100% HomeKit friendly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This will take all your old Nest devices um, or old kind of cameras that maybe you have to use the proprietary app. I haven't tried, I haven't tried this. I didn't have any wise cameras back then. Let's see if this works with wise too. And it brings them into home kit. So if you think about that, right, you can now have kind of a multi up display with all of your cameras and make mm -hmm. it all look super cool. Like you're sitting at the helm of your command center, keeping tabs on everything that goes on around the house from temperature to which lights are on to this is your Tesla charging. Um, there's numerous plugins there and they just, they just keep growing. Um, I think, was it thousands? Really? I read it correct. Yeah. I want to say like really? they, you know, they had, there's like thousands, I want to say it was 2,300, but, um, of plugins and it kind of acts as a turnkey, um, bridge experience. One of the cool things for this is you have a multitude of options. Um, of how you want to get your hoobs on. Um, you can buy a hoobs device right from hoobs, um, which I think right now they're running a special. You can get it for $199 instead of $200. Um, with a little bit of knowledge and know-how, you can buy pretty much any Raspberry Pi, I think from the three and up, um, and an SD card and throw it on there. And all they ask for is a $10 donation. Um, so, <clears throat> um, price may vary if you want something 110% turnkey and out of the box, mm -hmm. um, you can buy theirs or for less than half the price, you can kind of build your own. Um, they do re recommend plugging it ethernet into the house, but the cool thing is then you can, now uh, you can plug this into your TV and kind of have an always up display. You can get to it from any browser. There's actually a windows app for this. So if you're Apple iOS at home, but then Windows on all your machines, this will get your Windows computers in the, the realm of possibility for HomeKit. Um, super, super cool. And they just keep churning out the updates. So that's awesome. highly recommended. That's awesome. So, so it's just a general kind of bridging of your system, right? So mm -hmm. cause I know I know I have that issue where I, I'm pretty much going into the the Google situation, um, but it would be nice to like. I'm realizing I have an issue in my living room where it's like, okay, I have an Apple TV, a Google Chromecast, and an and a, and a Echo sitting there, so I can't because I'm getting really used to asking Google to pause my TV in the studio. <laughs> so and it's been really nice. So um, so I'm trying to figure out how to bridge some of that kind of stuff. Obviously, this is more like lights and stuff, right? Uh, and wise cameras, but still. So, but no, anything that helps, you know, that along, or even, I guess, you know, resurrect, like I have a Sylvania smart bulb that I can never get working, right? Like, would this help with those kinds of situations? Maybe it, it, it could, yeah, because this is going to be kind of the go-between. Because I can see um, it and see what's going on with it maybe a little more directly. Yep. Than the, they, they, like I said, they do have, they do have one thing that you're not going to be able to do that you could do from at least Mac right now, right? They have the home app for Mac. Now you're mm -hmm. going to be able to get this on Windows. I'm um, just pretty darn cool. Awesome. 
Awesome. So that 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 would be nice to bring, uh, like say like like Missy's a, a PC user uh, exclusively. So like to bring her kind of into the ecosystem, and and, and not just on her phone, right? So right. like that could that could be helpful. 